Okay, I've had a couple of people now asking me uh, what I've done to the control board here uh, so that it can actually operate with the uh, VLA IGBT driver system. So I'm just going to go through some of the simple changes uh, that I've done to the control board. I figured I'd do a video on it just uh, kind of save a lot of typing. So the first, I'm just going to start here at this side which is where the uh, power contactor and throttle uh, cables go in. Now the first thing that we'll see here is that the D1 uh, has been just basically changed to L ink and uh, that is done uh, so that we don't have a 4.3 volt uh, supply going down to the fault in the um, default power input to the VLAs. So that's the first thing to change, basically put a little ink in there. Okay. So coming over down here, we'll see that the DC DC has been taken out. And I've basically put a pair of inks in here, uh, one from here to here. I think that would be from pin 3 uh, up to pin, what's that, 15. And then there's one across the top here. This goes from pin, I think it's 20 two all the way over to pin 13 here so that's basically coupling the two sides of the 12 volts up and uh, you have to do this um, so that the um, under voltage detection circuit functions as it should. Now you can probably also see here that I've put a inks in here in place of the uh, the uh, L1 filter here but that's purely because I can't source this part here um, none of the component suppliers that I have access to can source this part anymore so I just basically took it out of play if you can actually find the part it's perfectly fine to have that in there so coming across now we'll see that we obviously don't have a um, oh a driver chip here because we're not driving any uh, power devices from this part of the circuit so we've got components um, not filled in here so these capacitors etc now Importantly, you can see that we have a link across R15 and in the uh, socket here where we would have had U6 which is the HCPL optocoupler uh, we've got a 1K quarto watt resistor and it's basically soldered uh, between pin 2 and pin 3 and uh, we can see this green cable here coming off the pin 3 side of the resistor and that is basically the PWM output okay this is a 5, uh, five volt uh, square wave PWM output um, so moving over everything else here in terms of the um, um, under voltage detection circuit is the exact same everything here in terms of the uh, the uh, all of the control circuitry here is the exact same um, everything there. I've got some extra components in here for brake input and uh, uh, taco input and that but you don't have to be concerned with that stuff. 
uh, everything here is as standard. Also on this side of the board here I would have some differences in the throttle circuit uh, because I'm operating from the BM um, W Hall Effect throttle pedal instead of the normal um, just 5k pot. So those are the sum total of the hardware changes that have to be done to the C version control board uh, to basically generate just a 5 volt PWM output. Uh, just this grey wire here is just basically a 5, five um, volt DC uh, that supplies the fault uh, power supply input on the VLA driver and what else do we have there uh, there's basically let me have a look around yeah that's a ground for that so that's not to do with that yeah uh, essentially that's it you've just got your PW um, 5 volt supply and I just picked up a ground you'll see maybe you should be able to see in there just I doubled up on the ground um, see those two blues in there just I picked up a ground for the uh, PWM just on that uh, controller ground input there and that's why taking that diode out uh, was quite important now with the diode out of course it means that you don't have a reverse polarity protection on the control board but uh, with a bit of care that's um, that's not a issue so I'm afraid it's a very boring video for the majority of of people but I've had quite a few uh, requests for this so hopefully that's answered all of the queries um, anything else just uh, send me a message and I'll uh, I'll see I'll see if I can fill in any of the blanks okay that's it for now